Greetings to the whole Word on Fire family. I'm speaking to you from the Academia in Florence. We've been here for the past uh, couple of days in this great city. Yesterday we were at the Church of Santo Spirito where there's this wonderful wooden crucifix carved by the very young Michelangelo. He's probably about 24 or 5 when he made it. We said Mass there too uh, for our um, team. Today we are in the Academia and you can see right behind me one of the great works of art in the whole world, Michelangelo's David. Uh, we've had the great privilege of being in here now for a couple of hours before the crowds get here. And uh, what I did in my stand-up today was talk about the Christological significance of this statue, something which I think is rarely done. People talk about, of course, the beauty of it, the anatomical precision of it, how it revives classical sculpture, how it has a sort of civic, political implication. But I think people overlook too often the theological side. David, of course, in the Church Fathers, is a type. He's a prototype of Christ. So Jesus is born in David's city. He's called the son of David. The angel tells Mary he will assume the throne of David, his father. So David is an um, anticipation of Jesus. In the script, I talk about how just as David goes out undefended against Goliath, so Jesus, undefended on the cross, takes on the powers of sin and death. As David is the great king of a united Israel, so Jesus becomes the king now of the whole world. So all those implications I was exploring in the script and in the stand-up. Keep following us, folks. We're heading back today to Rome for the last part of our filming. We've had a wonderful trip here exploring uh, these great spirits, Michelangelo and Francis of Assisi. We've been praying for all of you. Please keep praying for us, and God bless you.